Hi, and welcome to another episode of Hot Takes with me, The Silver Fox. Now, what I'm going to say to you now won't come as a surprise, but it is apparently clear that Shona Robinson, when dishing out monies to councils for aid and assistance and things, tends to favour those councils that it would, in her view, have had the sense to vote for SNP. Uh, councils that are not SNP led tend to get the short end of the stick. And this is particularly and evidently clear in Argyle and Butte. After the storms of the uh, sort of October time, Babette and whatever, a lot of damage occurred. And the, they, they apply, you know, applied to central government for funds, for emergency funds, to help. Uh, and they're not being treated the same as other councils, which have, for example, got uh, SNP councils, rather than ones led by Lib Dems, Tories or independents. Uh, it seems a bit biased, seems unfair. People are suffering simply because the SNP are very, very um, petty and, you know, spiteful, really. Um, it is spite, I think. But we'll take a look at this to see why old 86 IQ herself is failing the people of Scotland because of her petty spite. Here goes. So, there we go. Scots Council rages at unfair treatment by SNP government over storm damage after a Shona Robinson plea. Old 86 herself gets asked, please help, please help. And she goes, you didn't vote for the SNP, laddie. You're getting nothing. And that's basically how they are. Uh, council leader Robin Curry has written to the Deputy First Minister for a second time, expressing real concern that local communities are being treated unequally. Of course they are. They don't like anyone who doesn't vote SNP, so they must be made to suffer. And yet they always say about, oh, you must respect democracy. Strange that they do not. There she is. Honestly, look at it. And not a thought going on behind those eyes, is there? That is a woman with very little brain. She, what I'm getting from that picture is she's walking along a corridor. I actually know where that is. That's in the, in the Parliament. It's that one they always get that picture taken on. She's walking along that corridor. She sees a door coming up. And she's desperately trying to remember how to operate a door. Uh, anyway, a Scottish council has accused the Scottish government of treating its communities unfairly over the storm damage. Uh, Argyll and Butte Council says appeals for support have been rebuffed by the Deputy First Minister, Shona Robinson. Uh, council leader Robin Curry has said he contacted Miss Robinson after the area was battered by an unnamed storm on October the 7th and 8th this year. Surely uh, 7th and 8th was Babette, wasn't it? Uh, anyway, he says he's been forced to repeat that call and has written to the SNP politician for a second time, expressing real concern that local communities are being treated unequally. Yeah, but of course they are. If you don't, if you don't have the sense to vote SNP, the SNP is not going to help you. That's how the uh, the mantra at the government is when it comes to local authorities. They want to have an exercise complete and total care. Uh, to complete, complete and total control over every single aspect of every person's life. Micromanaging you down to the nth degree. They hate the idea that people might vote for people who aren't in the SNP. Unheard of. Better get used to it. <laughs> they haven't won an election since Alibaba got into power, did they? Ever since then, they've lost everything and it's getting worse and worse. And it will not just be the general election. Um, council elections will do it everywhere. The SNP are evaporating. Just not quickly enough. Uh, Councillor Curry, who leads a coalition of Lib Dems, Independents and Conservatives, said residents and businesses did not have access to the same sort of support being offered to residents in the North East who were impacted by Storm Babette. Argyll and Butte was the worst part uh, worst hit part of Scotland when storm conditions stuck, uh, struck in early October. Up to 15 centimetres of rain was dumped on parts of the region, with many roads forced to close as a result. Uh, however, it was largely overshadowed by events later that month when Babette saw a rare red weather warning issue for parts of Scotland. I was confusing the two. I thought Babette was earlier in the month. Must have been later in. That's fine. I made a mistake. I admit my mistakes. I'm not in the SNP. Uh, Councillor Curry said, while the main impact of Storm Babette was elsewhere, it still affected Argyle and Butte, which caused further disruption on top of the very severe impact we were already dealing with. He said communities and businesses had worked tirelessly to restore access to the area and keep services running, and were calling for fair treatment for Argyle and Butte, 
were asking for some of the same access to funding support that's been given to other areas affected by Storm Babette. Basically, the other places all voted for the SNP. They get the grants, they get everything they need. But um, yeah, this, this bunch of independents of Lib Dems and Conservatives, you get nothing because you didn't vote for the SNP. It is a protection racket, isn't it? It really is. Uh, in those communities, the Scottish Government has made available grants for businesses, financial help for those whose homes have been flooded and options for farmers to apply for funding of up to £30,000. They shouldn't have it. All that money that was given by central government to go to farmers still hasn't been dished out. I think in future, Westminster must hand it directly to the farmers. It will annoy the SNP, but it will stop them stealing it. Um, anyway, they've not offered this kind of support to our communities in Argyll and Butte, and we've repeated our request to the Deputy First Minister for Argyll and Butte to be treated fairly and equally when it comes to severe weather recovery support. Well... You know, this is what happens. Uh, we've once again sent a copy to every parliamentarian elected to represent Argyll and Butte asking them to join us in calling for equal access to this vital assistance. They haven't really got the money for it, you know. They, the, the, the trouble is they keep spending the money on all these stupid things like independence uh, or bicycles. And there's a thousand pound, thousand and forty seven pound of bicycle. They only got about half a dozen out or something. Worked out about a thousand and forty seven pounds of a bicycle. They're only like hundred pounds. Yep, thousand and forty seven. Because grift. Where's all the kids' iPads? More grift. It's all grift. It's all theft. It's all corruption. Everywhere you go, they make big announcements, but they can never deliver on them. Announcements are easy because hey, the press are here. Let's announce something. Then we look great. And then when you ask, have you actually delivered on it? No, we don't deliver on things. We just announce things. You know. Uh, anyway, he said, recovering from severe weather on that scale, Argyll and Butte experience, he said, was a team effort and the Scottish Government needs to play its part. He called on the administration to do the right thing. Fat job. Do the right thing? The SNP have never done the right thing. At any, any time they've had an option, they've always, without fail, done the wrong thing. The one thing designed to make things worse, that, that's what they will choose to do every single time. We all know it. Done enough videos on it. Uh, anyway, despite Councillor Curry calling for the same support, communities in the North East also say they feel let down by the government. Uh, Ali Baba has paid a visit to Brecon in the aftermath of Babette, but it has been reported that many residents have been disappointed with the actual offer uh, from St Andrew's House. Uh, the Scottish Government has been approached for comment, but of course comment came there none. And it is, uh, it, 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 it is so blatant, this, this, how can we put it, so much bigotry, really, against people who've voted other than the SNP. But it is obvious, it is blatant, it is clear as day to see. Um, why will they not just get on and hand out the money where it's needed and not care about how people have voted? How people vote means nothing. It's who people are that counts. But, of course, that kind of identity politics is rampant within the SNP. How dare you? How dare you vote for someone that isn't us? You get nothing. It's nasty, petty and vindictive, isn't it? But you don't expect anything else from that callous bunch of tossers in Holyrood. Anyway, I shall stop there. I shall come up and we'll move on to the next video. I've got tons still to do. Coming up. Now, I know I get, I, I criticise the SNP a lot, and I, but I also criticise the other parties. Because I, I loathe all parties. I think parties are just terrible. But I will be fair enough to say here that if, uh, you know, instead of an SNP government, there was a Conservative government, a Labour government or a, a Lib Dem government, I would suggest that any government other than the SNP would treat all local authorities fairer. They would treat them in a fair way. They would look to see where need was and they would do their help, you know, they'd aim their help at where the need was required. They wouldn't look to see how that particular authority was, you know, voted. They oh, well, look, you know, you didn't vote Tory, you're not getting our help. Tories wouldn't do that. You didn't vote Labour, you don't get our help. The Labour wouldn't do that. Uh, you didn't vote SDP. SDP, get back to the 1980s. You didn't bet uh, Lib Dems, you don't get our help. Honestly, SDP? Where the hell did that come from? Um, hey kids, all you younger viewers, you won't know who the SDP were. It's a party that failed and merged. Oh, what an awful lot they were. Anyway, um, 
Yeah, but no, no other government would be like that. It is just the SNP and they're just nasty, callous ways. They are really quite disgusting, aren't they, as human beings? That's the few of them that actually are human beings. The rest of them are subhuman sociopaths, really. Anyway, I shall stop there. Thank you very much for watching. Do keep up. Do please hit the subscribe button. More to come. Another story. I've got a big story. Well, not a huge, not as big, big, but a big, interesting story coming. Um, I don't know if it will next. It depends on the order they go out, but it is on its way. Um, and until then, stay safe, stay well, and keep watching. Bye.